Hello my lovelies, welcome to another vlog. A little bit of a lower voice today because it's been a very difficult day for me. And normally I do not like and I never ever ever complain in my videos or vlogs or things like that because I don't believe in vlogging. I know many of you will tell me that I need to put a seatbelt on but it's not a requirement where I grew up so I always forget. So I'm gonna buckle up now and I will continue my vlog in a moment. This was our like little uh, meeting um, social media strategy. You, have, you even have a strategy? Yeah, of course. Who you are you attacking this time? You have to have, you also have it. I'm sure as an Uber driver, you also have a strategy. For example, on Saturday night, you yeah. go close to the like uh, clubs, no? Nah, nah, it doesn't work like that. No? Uh, no, with Uber because they don't give you a job based on from how far you are. N then? So what happens is because it uses. It distributes jobs equally to the drivers, so you don't have to be nearer, but you don't have to be very far. Mm. But we have a strategy, like you said. Yeah, it's so because I know people are coming from the station, yeah, I'll be closer to the station, but not at the station. Ah. So, for example, if I know people are going out, I'll be closer, but not, not too the, close, not too close. That's always a good strategy. So, which this strategy, what does it do? Well, yours. Mine. I, I work on social media and today I'm going to Cambridge University to give a speech about my career, about everything that I have achieved so far. Seriously? Yeah. you the film on social Let me see. No, I'm not so famous. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. <laughs> you take your credit, don't worry. <laughs> so what do you do? I... Advertise stuff? In a way, but basically I, I just live my life normal. <laughs> normal and I try to kind of tell people about it in a way that um, in a way that can be inspiring for them to also make good life choices so if I make bad life choices I tell them about it and that way they don't have to repeat them okay. even if it's as simple as a purchase you know yeah so you buy like a pair of shoes and then I say like, hey, these are really great shoes or like, hey, there's a sale here or like, hey, this is what to do if you go to Paris. Seriously? Yeah. You do that? Yeah. On Facebook or Instagram? On Instagram and on YouTube. Seriously? You should follow me. So who's this gentleman, your manager? <laughs> Huh? He's a lot manager. Huh? He's a lot, manager? Of, a lot of things. A lot of things. I like, I like okay. Instagram okay. husband. What's is the professional title? Instagram husband. Husband. <laughs> okay, guys, we arrived at Cambridge. I didn't manage to tell you because the taxi driver was so curious. But we actually have to go back to meet our hosts. Today I'm in Cambridge wearing a pink, a super legally blonde outfit to give a speech, like a little lecture at Cambridge University about my career, about everything I've done and about luxury fashion marketing because it's for the students that are interested in luxury fashion marketing and they decided to invite me to speak about that, right Henry? Yes, everything also related to influencer marketing, digital strategy. Digital, yeah, and if it wasn't for Henry, this would never happen because <laughs> he really pushed me to do it. I'm a relatively okay public speaker. I'm not like shy to speak public Publicly, so that should be fine, but I'm just someone who never really says like, okay, let's finalize the date this and this is when we do it. That's Henry. He's so good at it and he's <laughs> handsome. So it's good, right? Yeah, very good. That's why you that's why <laughs> <laughs> that's why you got the job. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That really funny. It's, uh, a harassment. <laughs> because so far I haven't got press charges, but uh, if you continue this way. <laughs> I will have proof in a video. Yes, that's correct. We'll see. I'll think about it. Here I can find a. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a I'm sure here you can find a good, nice good lawyer. But like <laughs> seriously, look. Anyway, so that's about it. I'm, I'm pretty excited to meet the students as well. I love meeting new people. But a fun fact for you guys is that the first time I ever visited England was in Cambridge. This was my first encounter with England. So I was 12. And my parents sent me to Cambridge for three weeks to learn English and I remember some things from here like it's kind of a part of the distant memory because I remember my college I don't remember the city so much but hopefully 
I'll be able to freshen up my memory a little bit more because I'm already so impressed. I have to show you. We're now at the King's College and for you guys, I, don't, I mean, I don't know what this is like for you, but for me, this is so incredible. I love university life. I've always loved university life, but look how much this is like Harry Potter. This is, there's like this thing called punting and this is what Cambridge is famous about. So you see this guy like, or the girl standing, they would have a pole that they push the boat with and this is very famous in Cambridge and I remember that from when I was here for three weeks. Studying life for me is the best life. If I could go back to university now I would but I would probably not go back to university just because I would be the oldest person there and that's just not so fun anymore you know like when like for me university life was the best part of my life. I loved studying. I loved going to the library. I'm such a like a curious person. Being on campus is like the best thing. I was one of those people that would stay at the library whole night until 5 a.m. and then I would call my sister to come pick me up because the buses don't go back home that early. But just want to give you one more round. This is so special for me. I'm getting a little bit nervous about my speech even though luckily I did not inherit my dad's kind of difficulty at public speeches. I'm the one usually with my agency bold every season, like or like twice a year, we would have these like big dinners for many, many, many influencers, like 40 influencers from around the world. And then I would give speeches, Carlos Sestini and I would give speeches. I might try and find a clip and then I'll insert it because we're both very comfortable at speaking and Matteo, the owner of the agency hates it so we would do it for everybody so I'm okay with speaking but it's just like it's gonna be so many smart 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 people here that I really have to be on my top game right okay guys are just getting ready the students are not here yet but it's getting very real because I mean this brings me back to university life. So I just asked Henry, what if nobody comes? What if nobody comes? <laughs> but it's so funny because I told Henry like, oh my God, what if nobody comes? And he said, it's all right, I'm here and I'm very interested. <laughs> got home it is 11 5 minutes 11 and the exhaustion is surreal left home this morning at 8 got back home at 11 I'm gonna go and jump in the shower and wash my face but tomorrow I'm gonna kind of like vlog a little bit more show you everything speak to you a little bit more I'm sorry that this was kind of brief but I just wanted to show you what we've done today because I thought it would be very exciting for me this was like such such a big thing going to Cambridge speaking about what I do and kind of like taking you with me because that's what I enjoy doing good morning my favorites back to reality it is 8 28 I actually have to leave home in around an hour should be sufficient it's fine we're not in a rush this chair is kind of annoying me i woke up guys at 4 30. yeah got up pretty much at four actually <laughs> what is wrong with me even but i went to bed if i show you what time i went to bed you guys are gonna think that i'm absolutely ridiculous it says that i woke up at 4 52 but that's just because i swiped it up at 4 52 because then i was out of bed for long enough wait can you see when I went to bed? 7.36. I was so exhausted after the Cambridge presentation. Basically, I worked on that presentation because it was like, it was back to back. So it was like Paris Haute Couture. Then I got back. The next day I went to Cambridge. So the day when I got back from Paris, I really had to work on my presentation. Then the next day I was like traveling to Cambridge. There was like a really, really bad accident where um, there was like a body on the rail so what happened is that police was investigating the situation and because of that reason i was traveling from brighton to london for four hours would have been faster to take a car on this occasion yes but i didn't know you know you cannot account for these things i did my makeup this morning as you guys can see for the first time ever i'm wearing like a little bit deeper nude lips this is a louboutin lipstick that i love so much i received it in december i'll, I'll link below the exact shade so you guys can see it everything else is the same I actually have got the Laura Mercier foundation this time and I really love how it turned out. I'm eating my breakfast which is just a cross bun and a coffee. <laughs> I'm actually preparing because today I have to go to London. I have a lot going on. I wanted to show you sort of my preparation for Copenhagen Fashion Week. So tomorrow I'm going to Copenhagen. First time ever in Denmark. 
and obviously first time ever in Copenhagen. So I have a lot on my to-do list. My to-do list has many things on. I'm using this new like um, Smithson diary that I was gifted from the brand. It has my little initials TK and I really like it because it's called a Soho diary and I really like it because inside pages are like there's a massive to-do list space and then there's like a weekly overview of everything which for me is actually very important. I also sometimes need a monthly overview just for the videos and blog posts that are scheduled and planned. It's end of month. It is time for me to make like a plan for the next month content which means that I send to the team what videos topics will be going live on which date I send the team um, titles of blog posts that are going live like the titles etc I need to also go to London like I mentioned today I'm doing one flat viewing I'm going to Fendi Dior and Louis Vuitton because I have to like do some sample returns from Haute Couture and some sample pickups for Copenhagen I'm just like overall preparing I'm gonna go for a threading I'm hopefully gonna try and manage to get my hair done I've done it myself this morning like very very quickly with my GHD styler but you know, I really want to have it nicely done for Copenhagen. So that's the plan. My nails are still intact from my pre-Haute Couture prep. So that will stay until after Copenhagen. But overall, that's the plan. Before we go, I actually wanted to show you a few things that I have got on Farfetch. Just for the full transparency, I am working with Farfetch on this video besides other things. And um, I got a voucher to buy a few things. So they have arrived and they're actually in preparation for my trips because i think they will be very 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 handy and i think you guys will like them as much as i do they're very similar to the things that i already own in my wardrobe because for me it's of course very important to have things that i like and wear all the time i mean who is it not important for so i just wanted to show you these few pieces let's try and style them maybe one of them i actually wear today to town why not First things first, sorry. So how it works with Farfetch is that they ship items from like different stores around the world, like from one, one came to me from Portugal, one came from Italy, one came from Sweden, directly from store, cause it's from Acne. So directly from the brand, I mean. There's one more thing that is coming in today and I will show you that after my London errands thingy bob day it's a horrible day outside so i have to plan really wisely what i'm gonna be wearing but that's basically the tea let me show you what has arrived i've got three things over here thing number one that i got is this is a belmaran blouse like i'm so like cannot wait for the spring days to wear this this is from their like a new in on the website that's how i found it it's kind of like similar to the moran tops that i already have like the black one it has this like really structured nice sleeve i love the color because it's really nice look how well it goes with these ula johnson trousers i really love that it's kind of like chic yet it doesn't kind of require much effort to style this i can wear this with jeans with denim skirts with so many different pieces so i really liked it and i like this kind of like a paley yellow color my love for isabel moran or should i maybe call it obsession is just never ending did i tell you by the way that at the jean paul gautier his final show ever um isabel moran was sitting like literally two seats next to me with jerome dreyfus and i was like i literally before the show started i was staring more at her than it was going on around me but anyway this is the sweater that i got from isabel moran i got it because i thought it would be perfect transition into spring for my favorite sweater of the season you know which one i'm talking about right if you don't know i'm gonna insert <laughs> pictures here because that was like the knit that i wore so much that my sister was like not that knit again come on tomorrow but i love this one maybe like even more it's a bit lighter it's a cashmere knit but look at the cut around the neck it's like a boat cut can you see that got something right here every time i'm trying new stuff on no matter from what brand or where i get like something red around my neck area so yeah this these are the sleeves i think they're stunning i think they're beautiful this oatmeal color is so perfect and i would love to style this with like white trousers however not these white trousers because these are too summery for the contrast they look okay for the video or for the picture or something like that but i don't think they are the ones so you are going to have to wait for the last package from Farfetch to arrive, which is arriving today and this evening, I will show you how I would love to style this. I think this is such a beautiful, beautiful um, look with my Max Mara coat, which is also kind of this grayish oatmeal color. And honestly, like neutrals are such a big trend for 2020. So wearing all neutral outfit will be like ideal for me, if you ask me. This is basically it. This is the look. 
I think I'm gonna wear like a grey jeans um, it's really raining so badly so I think I'm gonna wear grey jeans and my navy uh, rubber wellies and then a bag so this will be the look but I really like it I'm gonna link everything that I have shown from Farfetch below but I have one more thing to show you just now that I've told you that neutrals are a big trend it's time for me to actually reveal the last purchase from Farfetch when I saw this I was so obsessed wait let's try and do this with one hand how do I do this this requires some serious skill you guys when you got all of your neutrals on and then you can break it off with a stunning colorful rainbow scarf now this one was I will link it below it's like a smaller one and um, it's a little bit cheaper then it comes in like a larger almost like a throw version of it where you can like completely wrap yourself around in it in case you would like to do that but it's just like a new in Acne Studios scarf it came directly from their store in Sweden I really love it I'm obsessed with it this is definitely coming to Copenhagen with me because I think this scarf is just gonna go with any any kind of like look it has any color on it it has like burgundy green blue purple pink yellow so any coat color that you have this will work with it and it will bring it to life it will make it more exciting I'm just so excited for my new purchases and I cannot wait for the trousers to arrive that I'm expecting which I will show you later but now I have to get ready because we really need to head to London I have so many things to do and I have to pack like the samples as well and we need to leave let's do this okay guys these are the samples that are going back yes as you can see I managed to break the Louis Vuitton bag I have no idea how am I gonna manage but I'm wearing my navy I need to, <laughs> need to tie the laces otherwise I'll fall I've got my Dior 19 the new knit that you have just seen, great trousers, like jeans wise, and just like a Max Mara big coat. Maybe I'm gonna put the acne new scarf as well because I really love it. Looks like it's not really that cold in London, so I'll skip the scarf because otherwise I'll be boiling. My sister's messaging me, okay, but then I'll I'll go as it is. Okay guys, I realized I completely forgot to vlog today. We're now just waiting at the Dior press office. As you can see. Forgot to vlog, but we've done like Fendi. Louis Vuitton and now Dior and then I have a big meeting and I've had a flat viewing busy days <laughs> Guys, can you guess if I tell you that I'm with my favorite boy in London and the most handsome one? Can you guess? I'd make the one to a crazy person. You still look amazing. We're just having a good talk. You have a very glowy. You have to give me some more skin tips. Skin I guess it's the greens that he To be he honest, eats. she's the one eating the dream. Yeah, it's true. But, but what about you? I'm, this I'm, is vegetarian what yeah, I'm having. I'm being healthy, you know? You're good, Cognato. I love hanging out with you in London, yes, you know? Me too. I think she should move here. So I it's like in the process. Person. It's in the she process. Move here and and I'll stay with you. And we will be neighbors. Why? Neighbors. Uh, like her wait. there, me here. I cannot wait. It's gonna be and we can have lunch here every Sunday. Like oh my god. Brunch here is so good. I promise you. Yeah? Mm. Okay, it's a deal. It is a deal. Okay, Cognato, I'll take you on that. Bye bye. Okay, guys, little update from very many hours later. What time is it now? 4 37. I'm on the train back to Brighton. I've got my sample samples next to me. I've got like a massive Dior bag and two ones from Fendi. And we are heading back home uh, to kind of like unpack these samples and get ready for Copenhagen. And I'm gonna actually have to still unpack from Old Couture and then I'm gonna pack for Copenhagen. I'm very excited. It's my first time in Copenhagen ever. And I will update you when we get home. It's a bit of a bumpy ride. I'm sorry. Your favorite girl is back home. Or am I your favorite girl? Am I your favorite girl? I hope I am. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe just one of the favorites that will also do. You have to understand that I'm the youngest child so that sometimes I like attention. My lips are really chapped. I didn't have the lip balm whole day. I'm working away. Let's see what's going on. <sighs> Guys, I still have to unpack. I have to pack. But more importantly, my Farfetch last package has arrived and I really, really cannot wait to try these trousers on and show them to you. So let's do that now. Okay, guys, are you ready to see the trousers 
the white trousers of my dreams. I'm sorry, I didn't put the second boot on. I was just trying to figure out if this is gonna work with my cowboy boots. And to be honest, it's not my dream look because I think it's gonna be better without, uh, with heels or not with like this deep boots. And the boots that go with this look, they need to be like either ankle boots or heels or either deeper or shorter, but not like this. Wait, I need to change. Slightly better. But still not my dream combo. Guys, look at these trousers. I'm loving them so much. They're like simple white. I need to button them up. They, they should be so much better with a belt. So I love this. I've just put in a little Hermes belt. Like they're like white trousers, you know, like super comfy, casual. These are perfect for traveling. Also with a simple white top, which is what I've got underneath. I always have like a white kami. You know, like a simple white top with sneakers, with anything you like. These are from Isabel Moran, very casual, very cool, will be perfect for summer. Even if you layer them with tights underneath, they could be cool for mountain chic. So I really, really like them and I think they're very cool. I really needed a pair of white, snow white trousers like these. That was my little farfetch haul. I really love these trousers. The material is just so cool. Like I can't quite even describe it, but I mean, Isabel Moran always makes these like super cool pieces, you know? I don't know what's that on my floor, I'm sorry. As we left in overlay, but we will leave it again here. If you want to shop on Farfetch, use the code TKFF10 and you will get 10% discount, which I think is amazing on designer items, especially because they have so much and the new in section at the moment is really cool. So yeah, check it out. Like, you know, we can just even do a bit of window shopping. Why not? Now I need to do a bit of unpacking and then I need to do packing, which is going to be pretty difficult situation however i'm very lucky because i did get quite a few pieces at your and pendy showrooms today as well to bring with me to the following trips okay guys little piece of information that the next video will be handbag collection video so i'm announcing it here that this sunday you will be watching the handbag collection video i've just filmed it i started filming at 7 30 it's 9 23 now so it took me around two hours to put everything back my sister helped me so there will be some commentary from my sister as well which I'm, I'm not sure what we think about but you know what you do is like she's always entertaining in my videos i have to admit though I'll, I'll give it to her it's 9 23 now i woke up at 4 30 so i was kind of hoping that i will be in bed by now which means that now i'm gonna go have a shower and then i will continue vlogging a little bit more in the morning i can just show you like the be like the beginning of the day tomorrow before we go to copenhagen actually i think before i go to bed i will unpack tonight because if i don't unpack tonight tomorrow it'll be too much to unpack and pack and these clothes were here in the suitcase for a while now so just to give you a little overview i have two bags here from fendi there's something as well new in that i have from fendi but you will have to watch the handbag collection video to find it i have some pieces here which are for the trip after the Copenhagen Fashion Week and then um, I have a massive Dior bag as well which is for Copenhagen and then over here are the things that I need to unpack most of this is like to be washed so I'm gonna try and do that now also a little piece of information I had so many compliments on this knit today even though it's the first time I worn it it was really like nice to get so many compliments on the color specifically and the style I think this coat from Nanushka, this could be a cute piece for Copenhagen, but I've just... Ah, I brought it to Paris, but I never worn it. Maybe once. This needs to go for washing, my Celine Pink knit. I really want to do this like a super speedy job, like 20 minutes, you know? Huh. It seems like someone's stealing hangers while I'm gone. Okay, these are some socks. We have Jacques Mousse. Okay, I think hangers are officially missing. Okay, so a lot of you seem to have loved this Prada like I guess I can call it a jacket and I got this in September at Fashion Week in Paris I really loved it I, I mean I worn it finally now a little bit more I had some issues uh, with it when I got it because the button fell off and then I couldn't get a new one long story short you should watch my best and worst purchases if you don't know about it but basically um, now I'm wearing it and I'm gonna wear it more Copenhagen might be cold for it but in Milan I'll definitely wear it I love it it's an amazing piece but I'm not sure still available so I'll try and find it on Farfetch for you guys <laughs> Okay, now the situation is better, the suitcase is empty and ready to be packed tomorrow to go to Copenhagen with me. I'm very tired 
and kind of out of words but i really need to go to bed now it's just past 10 o'clock so not too late but this is my bedtime and i am gonna wake up hopefully at 5 36 in the morning good morning messy wardrobe it's a new day and we're back here because i need to pack look how messy that is that's driving me crazy but I'm just gonna have to leave it like that and i will tidy it when i'm back because i want to leave everything tidy before i leave for fashion one i have quite a few samples that i have borrowed from the brands uh, to wear during the copenhagen fashion week it's only like two day fashion week today is gonna be chill i'm gonna have like a dinner with my friends and then tomorrow is gonna be busy day but day after tomorrow is gonna be crazy so we need to pack this baby i have i believe that this is going to not going to be required right away i have some really cool outfits from fendi for uh copenhagen so i'm gonna try unpack this now and then start packing everything i've got this little peekaboo here she will come with me because i think that's so cool and then i do need to plan some of the outfits a bit better because otherwise i'll be really stuck when i get there some of the stuff that i have in here are for later they are not for Copenhagen, so I don't need everything. I still haven't had my first coffee of the day, by the way. Jacket, I absolutely cannot wait to wear. This will be so perfect. Of course, I need to pack as well my new scarf that I got yesterday. And Dior, I have a stunning book tote. I got a bucket hat. I know that not everybody is a fan of bucket hats, but this one is just amazing. I think it's so cool. Wait, let me show you in better light. Is this better? It is like monogram inside and um, it's kind of like a military print on top. What I really like it for is that if you have like a bad hair day, this is just perfect and it's so fashionable. The weather is going to be horrible, like the worst that you can imagine. Also matches kind of in a way. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I have this book tote as well. I have the cruise belt inside that I think is absolutely stunning. Like, beautiful, beautiful belt. And then a few more pieces. Let me show you. I have the jeans and shirt. It will be too cold for this because this is a cruise look. So I'm going to style it now and see how it's going to work with this. But basically, you guys, right now, as you can see, it's a packing situation. I have a lot of things to pack, there are some new things in. Like I said, the next video will be my handbag collection video, so for all of you that are excited for that, stay tuned. But for the rest of you, that's it. My preparation for Copenhagen is done. I picked samples, I returned, I kind of see behind the scene how it works, the rotation of clothes. Obviously, I'm doing like six weeks of fashion weeks in february and six in september all together kind of so it's like 12 weeks a year of fashion weeks and besides my regular outfits i need much more clothes to show you the inspiration the how to style the what's out there what's new etc and that is why i very often resort to kind of like um, borrowing clothes from the brands that i work with because that just works the best for me and for you guys because you guys find it often inspiring a lot of clothes that i wear i would say that 80% of the clothes that I wear is still uh, from my own wardrobe because it's very important to me as well to kind of combine it, mix and match with my clothes. So yeah, a little behind the scenes for you guys. I'm gonna pack and I'm gonna leave in a few hours. I am going to have my first coffee of the day very soon. I'm so looking forward to it and breakfast and then we start heading to Copenhagen. So the next video will be my handbag collection video but then the one after that will probably be like a Copenhagen diary or something like that. Anyway, I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.